Yeah. Sneak peek. <laughs> Yay! What up, beasters? How's it going? What's up, beasters? What's up, beasters? We got all sorts of crazy camera angles. Alfred, can we switch to the phone angle? Phone angle? Korean hot. That's right, Ashley, behind the scenes filming from a nice, Hi. safe distance. We are sharing the kitchen today. Great to see everyone out there. Uh, thank you all for joining. Today we're going to be making some fried rice. If any of you are actually cooking along with us, I would like to know. Please let us know in the chat. <laughs> it would be fantastic. Uh, we are cooking some pineapple fried rice from the one, uh, the only. <laughs> Ashley, how do you feel about it? I love it. It's I, so of good. Course. Crowd it certainly is a crowd pleaser. Okay, Ash, let's get a up close angle of this thing. I'm right. so far away from the camera. Can you can can we switch it over? Oh, look at this! This beautiful fried rice right here. Yeah. We're gonna be partying. We're gonna be making this today, and hopefully it looks something like this towards the end. Uh, <laughs> it will actually because it's a really super simple recipe. We have everything laid out in front of us here today. We'll be taking questions all day. We have Alfred behind the scenes as well as. Uh, Ashley on the phone camera to stay a nice distance away. So Albert, if you see any good questions, can you hit hit the homies up and let us know on the inside what's going on if you see anything good. Feel free to ask questions, otherwise we're just going to be cooking some foods uh, together. And we also have a top-down angle. Can we show them the magic of that one, Alfred? Ooh, hello. Hi, everyone. Hello. Ooh, we're cooking. We're cooking now. And I'm going to be recording up. live from my iPhone. <laughs> you know, Ashley, you wanted to be a, a news reporter, I remember, growing up, right? I did. That's that hilarious. My aspiration in life was to bring you guys the news. <laughs> and so I am here on set with Feast of Fiction. And I'm here with <laughs> the <laughs> Master <laughs> Chef, <laughs> Wendy <laughs> Zhang. You guys have been waiting all day for his stellar performance. But <laughs> I will have to say that you are not in full costume. You know what? That's a good point. Do we have the wig anywhere around here? Maybe I should be wearing this wig. <laughs> At the very least, I should be wearing the wig. But until then... I'm gonna start slicing up this pineapple. So everyone look at this sick blade I got. Ooh. Got this one off Amazon. Big fan of this one. Uh, so this is a very simple recipe and at the end of it, you're gonna make pineapple fried rice that looks like a pineapple. Yep. <laughs> How exciting is that? So the first thing we gotta do is just that cut off the top. Exciting. Soup's exciting. Ooh. Got it. It's gonna be a little difficult. If you're a child, please do not attempt this. Uh, this is a spiky thing, and this is a sharp knife. Always cook with parental supervision if you don't know what you're doing. All right. Let's see here. Alfred, any good questions from chat? So are they going crazy? Can you read me some highlights? Uh, let's see here. Uh, will you make more anime food? Will we make more anime food? That's literally what we're doing today. Yep. So that's a start, right? And where's the wig? Where's the wig? Where's the wig? Someone's looking for the wig. Oh, uh, we found it. We, we found, found it. The wig, guys. We located the wig. <laughs> I think we should put it on while the chef is baking. Oh, for sure. Okay. Okay, all right. So, Alfred, let's get back to this forward angle here. I don't think we need this top down anymore. Yeah. Or we can do this sweet Ashley reporter camera angle, which is oh, always good, yeah. too. Yeah, we can do the sweet Ashley reporter camera angle. <laughs> Ashley, what's, what's the on news the on the street? What's what's the, the, news? News? what's the news on the street? Well, I want to uh, look at some questions, so let's see. Oh, yeah, you can be chat from where you are, right? Yeah, I can nice. be chat. Let's see. Oh. You are the ultimate fruit ninja, Link. Me, the yes. ultimate fruit ninja. Ha cha, ha cha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Josh Elkin. The Josh Elkin is joining us. Wait, the Josh Elkin? The Josh Elkin. I know you guys know him. He definitely has. He's a friend of ours. He's a friend of the channel, and you guys have seen him on here many a time. I'm yes. so happy he's joining us. Thank you so much. That's so sweet, Josh. What a cool dude he is. He is the coolest dude. I know you guys have checked out his Instagram where he makes the most craziest, delicious food every day. I know, and Josh keeps doing it during the quarantine as well, which is very impressive to me. He keeps it up. The grind is still there. The food is being made. I'm also cutting this pineapple. I'm being very careful about it, by the way. This is a dangerous place to be. Yeah, you really want is. to slowly do this if you are doing this, my friends. And don't rush it. Don't rush it at all. Okay, let's see. What else do I got here? I'm so glad Josh is here. Yeah, Josh, that's so sweet of you to join us. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs> um, Andre says hi. Hi, Andre. Hello, Andre. Where hey. are you from? Oh, I want everyone to share to tell me where you're from. So if you're from a different part of the world, 
And I also want to find out who the furthest from us is right now. We're in sunny Los Angeles. But I want to find out who is actually the literal furthest. And you win a prize of, of being that, being the literal, literal furthest. So good job. All right. Alf, want to go to the top down for this one? Let's see what we're cooking with here. All right. So this pineapple is like somewhat carved out. I've, I've done some lines around it. And the main thing I want to do now is just with a spoon, get in there and chunk it up. And by chunking it up, I just mean remove it from the bottom. Use the spoon almost as a knife. You're going to be able to get some big old pineapple chunksels off of it. That's English for pineapple chunks. Uh, chunky boy, coming yeah. through. Oh. oh. There you go. Look at that. Big old chunk of pineapple. And just repeat it for the other side. You're going to have some liquid in here, by the way. Just don't worry about that. You can pour it out later. Drink it like it's a tiki. Tiki drink, I guess. But you really just want to carve it out. And don't worry too much. Also, if you're doing this, if you like break it like I did just here, you're going to cut this up anyway. No big deal. Crafty. He's from, he or she is from Malaysia. Malaysia. That's Malaysia. very far away. That's oh halfway gosh. around the freaking world. So sweet of you to join us. Thank you. That's cool. Uh, okay. Okay. So I'm assuming it's very late for them right now, right? Like what time is it for them? I have no idea. What time is it? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> They'll tell us. They'll be like, it's 6 a.m. You guys are streaming. Why? <laughs> Someone in chat said it's like, it's 3 a.m. Why'd you guys start a live stream? He's like, bro, uh, it's not 3 a.m. where we are. Just saying. True that. All right, so I'm going to get rid of some of this liquid over here. Yes, I would like to know, Jimmy, what are you doing right now? What am I doing right now? Yes. I am de-husking a pineapple. Is husking the right word? I am getting rid of the innards of a pineapple uh, because we need this pineapple to bacon later. And so yep. we want to clear it out of all the stuff we need. And you're hollowing it out and I'm hollowing uh, it out. What size chunks would you say? Chunk. I mean, these are pretty big chunks. Like, look at the size of this thing. This is basically a hole down the inner side, and I'm pouring out the juice because I don't want it. So I'm just gonna just keep you know doing the old scrapey date, getting the bottom out, cleaning it out, gutting it. It's like a fish, but it's not. So if you ever want the the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever want the feeling of gutting something, just do it to a pineapple so you don't have to do it to a fish. There you go. Wow, this is very fascinating, Jimmy. What, my theory about how gutting a pineapple will fulfill your primal desire to gut a fish? Wow. Yeah, that's very deep indeed. Thank you for sharing that with us. You know, someone had to. I'm still very fortunate to have caught that. That moment? piece of information. Excuse me, I'm a very <laughs> practical person. All right. Ugh. This pineapple part always takes the most time, and I'm probably using a bit too long of a knife as well, so don't do this at home, kiddos. Use a shorter knife. But for me, you know, I'm a master chef. I'm like so much, I have to prove myself with everything that I do and show the world that I can truly accomplish in the way that I want to. Ooh, Sergeant Viper asked a really good question. Oh, hello, Sergeant Viper. He's one of our friends from Instagram. We've he been is. talking to him for many, many years now. What's yes, up? Yes, Sergeant Viper, thank you for all your support over the years. He would like to know if you could use apples in place of pineapples for this ah, recipe. You totally can. In fact, there's another Food Wars recipe called the apple risotto that Ooh. they've used in the past, and that is something that they use apples as one of the primary ingredients. So you definitely could. You'd lose a little bit of the appeal of what, I mean, like, could you make it look like a huge apple? Maybe. But you'd also want it to probably be a little more red at that point. But yeah, you could definitely use any fruit you want. Um, the main thing that with fruit is that it has liquid in it. So if you're using pineapple, obviously this thing is like oozing liquid everywhere. You just want to make sure that your fruit doesn't have that when you cook with it eventually. Oop! All Chunks right, coming out. we got the Philippines up in the house. Oh, we my boo hi! What up? Ah, to my pares out in the world. Friends. You know, the Philippines, we got to shout out the Philippines because they are. Uh, do you know this actually that the majority of our views come from America, right? 86%. Right. But the next largest country that represents that gives us views? What? The Philippines. All right. All right. Love our Filipinos. Yeah, I do too. In fact, Alfred back there on the board is Filipino. Hey, Al. Kumusta? <laughs> hey. That's all the Tagalog Alfred knows. Oh, I think I actually know more than him, unbelievably. But that's, <laughs> that's just a sign, you know? The Philippines, well, that's that's great. Welcome. Yep, Phantom Slayer has joined us. Nice. What up, Phantom Slayer? You're slaying phantoms. I'm slaying this freaking pineapple right now. Dude, you're totally slaying that pineapple uh, right now. Look at these guts. <laughs> 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 All right, there we go. All Ooh, right. Gosh. Let's All see. Right. I'm going to reach in. You're going to reach in? Yeah. 
Husks on husks. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah, I'm just going to clean this up. I'm keeping my safe distance. Yes, that's right. We have, however, all been uh, safely quarantined away, and you know, we're none of us are symptomatic. But you cannot be too safe. You can't make excuses. You can't make excuses. Yep, so. that's why I will tap Jimmy in at some point. But yes. for now, you're doing such a good job. Thank so, you. Thank you. I'm doing a good job myself being a reporter on the street. <laughs> you are. So, Ashley, tell us about your childhood dreams, because you did want to be a reporter at one okay. time, didn't you? Yes. So, actually, this is actually a really good story, but I have quite the reputation in my family um, to walk around with a wooden spoon. Can I get a wooden spoon, please? Oh, we definitely can. I forgot to fly a wooden spoon in here. Oh my gosh, I'm totally <laughs> Ashley on the scene. <laughs> I would walk around holiday functions at all my family functions. You can ask anyone in my family who knows me. They all know me. Thank you. <laughs> who with wouldn't a wooden know you, spoon, Ash? And I would be interviewing my family members. So that's absolutely uh, hilarious. It feels so good to be here right now. <laughs> Reliving my childhood, and yes, so I wanted to be a reporter. Nice. I think you still are reporting on things now, though. You're reporting on foods. Yeah. Um, if you guys follow Ashley on Instagram, you'll see that she definitely reports on the daily have eating habits of her son. That's true. That's pretty interesting content too. That's that's the yes. news. Yes, right it there. is the news right there for sure. Yeah. So I feel good to be back, guys. This feels good. Holding this wooden spoon just makes <laughs> me feel right at home. So I'm so happy to be reporting live. Uh, here on YouTube. Here on YouTube at the Feast of Fiction Kitchen. At the Feast of Fiction Kitchen. So, Jimmy. Yes. Oh, hello. What can you tell us right now? Well, right now I'm currently slicing up these slices of pineapple, and I found out that this pineapple has many different parts to it. Some of them are a little thicker than others. Others are a little goopier. So, yes. But just... all of those are still very good pineapple. Oh, that we yes. Can use, and any pineapple that I don't put in this fried rice, I will put directly into my belly. Got it. Okay. Let's save it for the fried rice. <laughs> And of course, just so you guys know, I definitely washed my hands before this. I'm being just gonna be nice and clean because Ashley and I will be swapping at some point. Yes, I'll be tapping you in at some point. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's get back to the questions. Let's back back to the cues. If you guys have questions, please post them in chat. We'd love to answer them. We'd love to know where you're coming from. Yep. How old you are? Just tell us everything, please. We Ooh, we want to be. PK Donnie. PK hey, Donnie. What up, PK Donnie? That's another old friend of ours on Instagram. Uh, by the way, if you have been following us for a while, uh. I will always, P.K. Donnie, I think, comments on all of our videos. He really uh, does. I, he always gets a nice compliment as well, and I read it every time, just so you know, and I appreciate it, so I wanted to let you know that. Um, I think comments are can be some of the most wholesome places on YouTube, so if you guys have left positive comments in the past, you the real ones, I, just saying, just saying. Yeah, yeah. Reggie Art wants to know. Oh, Reggie. Oh, hey, yeah, Reggie. What? Ooh, good question. Oh, goodness, Koreji. How do you have a favorite if they all are? <laughs> um, that's like asking me to choose my favorite child. child. <laughs> um, let's see. What would be my favorite recipe? I really love the um, giant little cookie from um, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Oh, that one. By the way, someone remade that and showed it to us on Instagram, and I was so proud of that. I was like, holy moly, you did it. It looks so good. I totally tried to make my two-year-old watch it the other day, and he probably wasn't as interested. The movie? But it was very nostalgic for me. Oh, that's hilarious. He didn't love it? He did not. You know, his attention span is a little... Right. You, there probably needs to be, like, animated airplanes and stuff on screen for him to really pay attention, huh? Uh, let's see. What else do we got going on here? Someone wants to know how long Jimmy filmed Mulan. Oh, well, I went out to film Mulan starting in June of 2018, and I didn't come back until the end of December, or no, the end of November, so that was about six months, so six straight M-O-N-T-H-S yep. of that. Yes, we missed him dearly for you six did. months, and you guys might remember that it became my show. <laughs> it became your show. It was and, the Ashley show. In a lot of ways, it also became Alfred's show. And Alfred, we had a lot of special guests. Dude, but buddy, the owl. A very uh, sad six months because Aww. I knew that you guys really missed Jimmy, and I really missed Jimmy too. So, uh, yeah, he was gone six long months. That's but very thankfully, sweet of you. He is back, you guys, tonight. Here he is, Live. the movie star in the Feast of Fiction kitchen. Just cooking and cutting pineapples Just for you guys. Just slaying and banging. Slaying and banging. <laughs> That's definitely how I wanted to describe myself today. Guys, tonight I'm going to be slaying and banging in the kitchen and y'all can't stop me. Let's see here. What else do we have in the chat today? I did take a question that asked, what if toys are alive? <laughs> 
What if toys are alive? What do people say? So that's their, their question for you too. Oh, what if toys are alive? What? Like, we're like Toy Story status or Chucky status? Because those are two different either. scenarios where toys can be alive. And one of them, I'm just going to put it out there, is not as desirable as the other one. So, they're asking what would happen if toys are alive? And I, I you know, honestly, okay. honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I don't quite know how to answer that one. Do you like Toy Story, though? I love Toy Story. I do, too. Sawyer is on a major Toy Story kick right Ooh, now. Ooh, which one? Uh, Woody, Buzz, Jesse, oh, yes, those are Forky. the toys. Oh, we made Forky the other day. Oh, nice. Oh, so yeah. he's seen four, the most recent one? Yeah, he's seen nice. them all. You see them all? Yeah. Did he have a favorite? That's what I want to know. Yeah, what does no. this ch beautiful child think? Because me and my like my like my, my life, I'm like I like three the most because it was about growing up and moving on. He definitely doesn't have formed opinions on that yet, but I'll get back to you. <laughs> okay, let me know, please. Love to know. Okay, everyone, just so you're watching, I'm gonna let you know this. Alfred, can we do the top down? Um, you don't actually need to cut the entire pineapple up in this case. You, you're actually fine if you don't want to get through the whole mess. And honestly, I'm getting a little tired cutting this pineapple up. Oh. I'm just going to cut up one little more bit right here. Dicing it up into cute little chunks. Putting it into my little bolio. That's not cut up. And then I'm going to put the rest of this away into my pineapple bowl over here. And we'll deal with this in a second. But this should be enough for the recipe, which is great. What does the recipe say? The recipe specifically says one whole pineapple and scooping it out and dicing the flesh into chunks. And if you wanted to, right, you could cut one. These are not, by the way, edible chunks. These are the middle of it. Yeah. I'm only one chunk I'm really missing here. You could do like big chunks if you wanted to. Yeah. Because I know some people that when they have, when they think of pineapple fried rice, they think of chunks that are like this big, like huge discernible chunks. I'm more of a petite chunks kind of boy. So that's where I'll be going with my chunks. You know what? I love pineapple. I'm going to dice it up just as the recipe says. Yeah, let's do it. But he does have a very good point. You know, if you do not fancy a lot of pineapple, then maybe don't put as much in there. But again, this is your fried rice. If you're the kind of person that thinks pineapple on pizza boss. isn't good, you probably don't want that much pineapple on your fried rice either. I don't know if that's actually accurate. <laughs> actually, I that's a good love point. Pineapple on pizza, but I like it in this. Hmm. All right, let's ask chat. How many fans out there of pineapples on pizza? This is potentially one of the most divisive questions in the history of food. I'd like to know. Can we do a poll? Yeah, sure. If you guys like pineapple, put a green emoji. You if you don't towel. like it, I do. I need some paper towels. My hands, Bob, my hands. This is probably what people don't see when they watch one of our cooking videos is that there's a lot of cleanup in the middle of it and right now these hands are covered in pineapple. Uh, I definitely feel like a kid that sprayed a drink on him, you know, or like spilled all over myself when I was, you know, like at the, the county state fair drinking my pineapple juice. Oh, we got some loves. We got a lot of people loving the pineapple pizza here. Good, by the way, you have good taste, just saying. Yep, that's totally up your alley. Oh yes, please. Thank you for the socially distant depositing of these paper towels for me. Yes, thank you. All right, the pineapple. We've cut up everything else, fortunately, so you don't need to see us go through that again. So I'm going to put this aside. Great. Thank you. Oh, clean this up for you, madam. Thank you. Oh, right away. Right away. In. Got you. I guess that means I have to pass off my wooden spoon. <laughs> the reporting spoon. To Winnie. Hey, all right. Hold on. Let me just clean it up for you first because it's okay. a little dirty. Let me go ahead and ask some questions here while I'm here answering some questions. Yes, please. We're just going to say hi. Hi, Baron Paradox. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, Caramel Popcorn. Oh, they're doing emoji responses. Oh, there's yeah. a couple of red hearts, but I don't know if the red hearts mean they like pizza or they just want to give it a heart because hearts are stereotypical. I see a lot of tacos and burritos. Ooh. That is very up my alley. Ready for <laughs> Studios. Thank you so much for those. I love tacos. All right, I think we're ready to start cooking. Um, all right, well, here. I guess, it, uh, is it my turn? I think so, almost. I'm going to move this okay, around guys. over here. Well, I got to get in the kitchen. So got to get in the kitchen. Hang all right, well, we'll do the handoff. All right, are you ready to do a social edition tag out? Get to the cunts of the front camera. And break. Okay, that means I'm in. Hello. Welcome. Welcome back to me. <laughs> okay, so he says.
so graciously cut out our pineapple and it looks amazing. So now we're going to add the coconut oil to our uh, pan here that is oh yeah, gotta turn it on. not on. Not yet. Yes. So we have this really cool little hmm, induction, induction uh, pan here and I'm adding in my coconut oil because we are going to saute some vegetables and cook some ground pork. Okay, so that is the Can you swap camera? Okay. Can you still face camera now? Uh, you want to this? Ooh. Okay. This is so cool. I'm not Will sure this is on. <gasps> okay. This cam does work. What's up? Okay, Hello. back to Ash. Ash and Ash. Hello. Do, do, okay. Do. Jimmy, oh, here we go. Now we're on. Now we're cooking with. Now we're cooking with. with... with... <laughs> oh, save half of the, uh, the, what's it called? The games Coconut like... oil? Yeah. Gotcha. That's so okay. We just need it to be a little warm, you know? No problem. <laughs> All right. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. So you first guys thing. You sneak peek of the kitchen here too. Ooh. This is great. So first we're gonna add our ground pork to our coconut oil. And this will take a while to cook, everyone. So just let it simmer. Actually, I need a spoon. A wooden spoon. Okay. Not that wooden spoon. Not another that wooden, wooden spoon. spoon. All right, we're fetching another wooden spoon behind the scenes. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate. E H F. So yeah, we're gonna brown our pork right now. Um. The induction oven actually makes it happen pretty fast, which is great. Or the yeah. induction, sorry, not oven. This is not an oven. Pretty good. Oh, hey, Baron Paradox. Aww. Thank you for the $5. I've been a huge fan of your channel since I discovered your first sea salt ice cream That's video. That's so sweet, Baron. Wow, wow, thank you. You should check out our most recent iteration in... The Feast of Fiction Cookbook. It's so cool. <laughs> which I have a feeling you will or you have. Yes. because you're already a huge fan of it. But yes, we did it on the channel. Our first version was pretty cute, but this version in the book is amazing. So, Ash is killing it back there. Just say hi, everyone. <laughs> yeah. It feels like I'm like Instagram live streaming now. It's pretty fun. But look, I can read all the chat. <laughs> yes, <laughs> good idea. All right, what up, fan slayer? You remember the Evil Kid account you made because it's really banana That's great. If oh, yeah, that, that was sweet. That was Thank really you so sweet. much for doing that. Emo sl Phantom Slayer. Correggio says, can I replace the coconut oil to another one? Yes. Absolutely. Do what you want. This is your recipe, all right? That's right. So we're about halfway browned. Looking nice. Yes, looking very nice. You know, I will say this. Pork, when it's like middle of cooking, doesn't look amazing. It's kind of like... In case you're like, what's happening? But the moment it starts getting brown, it and then you smell the smell, life gets better. Oh yeah, our lives are about to get significantly better. Okay. <laughs> wow, you're extreme close up being on me, Winnie. I know, no, I gotta it's go. It's like freaking Wayne's that. World style. I'm sorry, extreme close up. That. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. So as you guys can see from my top down camera. Oh, yeah, switch it out. We are browning to perfection over here. That's it good. is um, a cup of ground pork. Of course, if you don't like pork, you could use ground chicken, ground beef, really any ground meat that you like. I guess, I suppose you could substitute steak, but you know, that would be taking the recipe to a whole nother level, which, <laughs> hey, again, you're the boss in the kitchen. Steak is not, not a bad idea, actually. I've had great steak fried rice in the past. Yeah, you could do shrimp. Ooh, really, like you could uh, make your protein whatever you so desire. Obviously, pork and pineapple go really good together. Plus, this is an Asian-inspired recipe, so yeah. that's how we landed on pork. We love it. But again, if you don't like pork, feel free to do whatever your little heart desires when it comes to the meat in your pineapple fried rice. So, we just about browned our pork, so now we're going to go ahead and start... Um, I think the carrots and the... The carrots and the onions. And the onions and the pineapple. Ah, very nice. So in go the carrot. In goes. Let's go that and top down. Look at that color. Look at that color, feasters. Onions. It's delicious. And this amazing pineapple that you cut for us, Lemmy. Yeah, there's a little bit of liquid in there, that's but that's fine. just gonna evaporate. Yeah. All right. Look at the colors. Okay. 
So maybe we could do a couple more questions, Winnie, because we're just going to oh, keep yeah. on doing this Let's until we're softened here. Okay. Well, Zoe Smith says, I want fried rice now. I don't blame you. <laughs> it's 1029 South Carolina. We got some wow. Carolinians up yeah. in the house. How many Texans do we have in here? My Texans. Oh, yeah. If you're in Texas, let us know. Ashley is a born and bred Texan. That's right. Austinite, Houstonite. Yep. You're a lot. Correct. Correct. All these Correct. things. Correct. All of the above. Texas all, all the way, baby. Above. Texas forever, as some may say. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, Mythic Animations asks, what should we make next on a uh, on, on the live stream if we do another one of these? Please, please hit us up in the mm -hmm. comments. Let me know. Yep. I want to hear it. Kareji Art wants to know how what it was like working with Food Network. Jimmy, you can answer with that question. Food Network? Oh, yeah. It was a lot of fun, actually. I worked with a company, uh, well... Let's, let's see here. It was... We did this, like, really cool online show that you guys could go check out if you want. Yeah, it's called On... Kitchen Lab? No, no it's I'm not. not. It's kidding. called The Cutting Edge. The Cutting Edge, that's right. So... We actually did a lot of things. Oh, with the same people, that's why. So He's getting so confused well. because he's so in high demand for food television that he is getting his shows mixed up. It's true. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's called The Cutting Edge. We went all the way to San Francisco. We got to like film with a bunch of really cool locations. Yep. We did Willy Wonka chocolate at one point, which was really fun too. And we sort of had like our own custom faces printed out in yeah. jellies. You guys <laughs> should check it out if you uh, so desire. If you haven't yeah. gotten enough of us on Feast of Fiction, it's on uh, foodnetwork.com. Type in The Cutting Edge and yeah. you'll find it. Yeah, I think it's on YouTube too if you just look up Cutting Edge. It is? Yeah, I think so. Nice. I think so. I mean, that could be wrong, but things move on and off you do all the time. Sweet. Well, we're probably about, we need a couple more minutes. We yeah. want our carrots and our onions to be pretty good sauteed. But hey, okay. that just means more time with you guys. <laughs> oh, how we met. Best story ever. Yes, it is. Ashley and I met at Disneyland. That's correct. Uh, and it was a magical moment where it was a co-friend's birthday party. And we just started to get to talking about... Oh, it's my deal. Where's my... Wait, I need my spoon. Yeah, he needs his wooden spoon to record on this one. Back in the day, Ashley and I met at Disneyland. And it was a really magical time. It was our friend's birthday. And... They were someone, I think our friend, uh, my friend knew and your friend knew. So it wasn't even our direct friend. But we happened to be at Disneyland and I asked Ashley, like, hey, what are you doing? What do you like doing? She's like, I want to be a, like, I want to be a, a on-screen host, a, a personality. I was like, oh, well, I'm actually looking for someone to help me make a recipe. And Ashley showed me this early baking work she had done as a joke, uh, sort of like cupcake for her friend that was a body in a morgue. And I was like, that's it. You know how to work with fondant, and I want to make the Minecraft cake. And so, one thing led to the next. And before you know it, I was at the my apartment, and Ashley was there, and we were just filming episodes. Actually, he kind of conned me into it. I conned. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 hold on, hold on. What do you mean yeah. conned? He kind of conned me into it because he, under the guise of, well, it's for the best actually, because Why? under the guise of, hey, can you come help me with a cake? I don't know how to use fondant. Which fondant is an annoying medium. Like, we all know that. Yes. Yeah, so it's he was like, can you help me? And I was like, yeah, sure. And I showed up there. And then he's like, basically like, hey, so want to film a show? Here's an apron. If you may remember, I used to wear an apron on the first iterations of Feast of Fiction. Did I give you the apron? You're like, here's an apron. Oh my if you God. want to shoot this show, let's do it. And I was like, wait, what show? And so honestly, like... Those first few episodes of Feast of Fiction for me are so awkward because I literally am like this the whole time. <laughs> it's literally before I came into my skin, but obviously meant to be because obviously here I am talking to you fine folks and hanging out with you fine sir. That's right. And um, living my dream of being an on-screen personality like I set out to do. So yeah, I was kind of conned into it by the best con artist ever in the world. His name's Jimmy Wong. Yay! Yay! And now he's my best buddy too. So hey, Aww. who says you can't be best friend with a con artist? <laughs> That's so great! <laughs> wow, I've never had such a glowing recommendation in my life. Unbelievable. Well, you know what, Ash? I appreciate your candidness. Your candidness. I think it's really nice. Look, I just want to be as honest with our folks as possible. And that was a very good question. I don't know who asked it. It's a great question. Thank you for asking the question. And once again, we're going to check in with the chat here and see what they have to say. Because yes. we want to know. We, the people. Actually, 
actually, they have said nothing in between. They're just gonna find other ways to make fun of me for being a con artist, and that will not do. Hey, I like it. Yeah, how's it looking in there? I mean, it's looking good. I still think we need to cook it more because personally, you know, we want the onions and we want the carrots to be very soft. Of course, we are gonna put this in the oven for a little bit, but I don't know about you, but I want my carrots and my onions to be soft in my fried rice. Yeah, they cannot be chunky. It, it just beats the purpose. We want it all to melt in your mouth. Delicious, baked in the pineapple. But it looks really good. It's all coming together, as you can see. There is a perfect um, combination here of pork, onion, carrot, pineapple. Like, you can tell it's just an amazing array of delicious foods all put together to create this beautiful dish that we are making here with you on this fine night, Yay. wherever you are. Big shout out to Drippy, who's been a long time watcher, but this is the first time he's ever seen us live. Hello! And a big shout out to Bao from Vietnam. That's a, pro, that's a far viewer as well. Somebody said they looked at our old episodes to see if I had an awkward face. Well, let me save you the time <laughs> and tell you Are that you I definitely it? did. So don't even waste your time. That's hilarious. No, I'm kidding. Well, honestly, uh, it's really cute to see how far we've come. The truth has arrived, actually. You were <laughs> awkward. I was awkward. We were all awkward. It's okay. We are awkward together. But hey, you don't know what you're doing until you're doing it. <laughs> That's right? A good point. Ooh, do we have some double pip action happening now, Alfred? Very nice. Some double what? Oh, let's put down the top right because the piece of fiction is going to sit around the top. Yeah. Make it a little bigger. Prop them edges. Ooh, I got a question that I'm looking at. What's that? Jimmy, how is it like working in Wish Dragon? Oh, yeah. I was a voiceover artist recently for a movie called Wish Dragon. I don't know when it's coming out, but it, the trailer is out, uh, the Chinese trailer at least. I'm really excited to see it at some point. Um, I think for me, the most fun was being able to work with really, really cool people. So I got to meet John Cho, who is my childhood hero, because the heroes of tomorrow going to White Castle. Good job, John. Oh gosh, you made amazing. it to White Castle. <laughs> and I think... Being able to sort of like stand very far away from him because, not because of safety guidelines, but because we were both speaking in the different mics, but then pretend like we were right next to each other and talking and okay. doing a scene. That was actually a really fun, kind of magical moment. So that was a bunch of fun. I really had a blast doing it, and I hope to be able to have an experience like that once again soon. All right, Ash, you think we should do a swap off again? Yes. Actually, let me just, uh, did you put sea salt in the pineapple? No. Not okay. these ones yet. We'll Not do that. Yet. We can season them. Okay, yeah, let me do that for you before you All jump right. back in. Just a I'm little bit. Flip it around and show what you're doing. So she's yes. pouring some sea salt into, into the pineapple. pineapple. Ooh, season it. Oh, yeah. Season it. Season it. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so this is starting to look good. Great. Very good. Um, I think it's been about 10 minutes. So I think we're doing good. So, Jimmy, I will release this wooden spoon to you and exit the kitchen to where you are going to continue. I'm back. All right, this looks amazing, Ashley. You did a fantastic job with it. Very exciting. All right. Now this is looking great. The things have reduced down. It's super, uh, how do you describe it? It's all melty and stuff now, which is awesome. Yes. So what we're going to do now is add in our oyster sauce, okay. as well as the rice, and then we're going to add in the curry powder, soy sauce, and pepper. So here's a little bit of the oyster sauce, just gives a little bit of color, very nice, yeah. as well as a very sort of a, uh, a bit of a sour, or a, a salty, I don't know why I said sour, a bit of a salty taste as well. All right, I am back on the scene here in the basement. <laughs> Reggie Art, this is the best live stream ever. Thank you. This is a good live stream. Thank you. This is a great live stream. Thank you. How nice. How yeah, nice of you. Very nice of you. Thanks so much. And so now, let's just keep talking to these. Have you watched the show Friends, Jimmy? Yes. Have I watched Friends? Have I? I you love might have Friends. Seen it a time or two. Yeah, it's one of my favorite shows. Um, I remember growing up, and when I came home from school, it was too late to watch Pokemon. And so I ended up, always ended up being up for uh, The Simpsons, which aired later, and then Friends. 
which was around like 7 p.m. every night, I think. And so I watched a lot of Friends growing up. I would like to know, what is your favorite Friends episode of all time? Jeez. Maybe we were on a break. That is like one of the iconic end of seasons ones. You guys remember that one the, the, for the fans out there? Um, it's when Ross and Rachel are quote unquote on a break and Ross goes ahead and does the dumbest thing he can and essentially hooks up with someone else and then y uses this as an excuse over and over again. That or the episode where Monica uh, has a house party and then she gets really upset because people aren't putting the caps of the pens back on. Because it's going to reduce yeah. the ink in them. I thought that for, that for some reason was so funny to me. Well, I like the episode where they play the game, like Battle of the Sexes. Like, oh, yeah. You know, which the girls are the guys, and then they would be fun it. Yes, that, that is. That is the best. Shenandler Bong. Oh, that's the best. Who's your favorite character? Uh, probably. I don't know. Probably. I don't know. All right, I'm going to add in some curry powder here. Let's check out that top-down Alfred. This is where, you, this is where the, the gold truly becomes real. Is this curry powder up in this rice. Happy birthday, Bao! Happy Wanna birthday! Give a birthday shout-out to Bao! Yay! Happy birthday! So sweet of you to celebrate your birthday with us. That is very sweet of you. A little bit of this soy sauce as well. All right, now we're just gonna stir this in and make sure the, the curry covers everything. And boy, this smells so good right now. So what are you doing right now, Liz? Well, right now I'm looking around for little chunks of rice to mash up. Because when I do that, I'm gonna make it uh, spread out a little more and I'm gonna make sure that all the rice is evenly covered and coated and has a nice even color throughout. Okay. Well, we're gonna cook until this is nice and fragrant and shiny, and then we're going to, in a separate skillet, make a little bit of eggs. And we're gonna fry them almost all the way, and then we're gonna add it back into this. Mix it all together, stick it in the, uh, the pineapple chunks, bake it, and then we're done. This recipe really doesn't take that long to make, and it's really simple. You just add things on top of other things, and you keep adding them until you're done. Easy as it goes. I love it. Rippy wants to know what your favorite piece of fiction recipe is of all time. Of all time? Jeez Louise. You know, we made chili dogs from Sonic back in 2012 or 13. Do you remember that, Ash? Yeah, of course I remember. I wore a Dr. Robotnik outfit. Uh, you wore Sonic. Our friend Manzi. Do you remember Manzi? Oh my gosh, she was our wardrobe gal. Yeah, Manzi the Young helped wardrobe us. By the way, she's now worked on like Teen Titans and a bunch of stuff too. So she's like a very legit wardrober, yeah. Oh, she blew up. Yeah. Um, hey. <laughs> she also made Deadpool's costume in, uh, in, um, not Deadpool, sorry, uh, the character, Deadshot, I think is his name, the character in, um, uh, whatever that bad DC one is where all the people, and Cara Devlin was like a weird, uh, <laughs> do you guys, does anyone know what movie I'm talking about? No. Suicide the Squad, that's what it was. She, oh. she helped make Will Smith's costume in that movie too. So, humble beginnings all the way to that. Anyway, look at the rice now. Everyone focus on this instead of me bumbling. Okay, sure. Butterfly from North Carolina. Hi. Hello, Butterfly from North Carolina. She also has a question. Yeah? On average, how long does it take for us to come up with a recipe? On average, how long does it take to come up with a recipe? Well, sometimes you just nail it the first time through. Like, for instance, this fried rice is something that I've made with my mom and that my mom has taught me how to make fried rice for a long, long time. Yep. So it actually it doesn't take that much uh, time to come up with this recipe. But some recipes that are cakes or involve a lot more steps usually require a bit more testing to figure out. And that's why we're usually like, hey, you can just use a box cake if you don't want to do this from scratch because it's really about the presentation in the end sometimes. And so you also have to find, all right, how much do I care about the recipe versus how much do I care about the presentation? So I would say anywhere from like one day to sometimes up to a week. But it just depends on how complex the recipe is. Yes, so, absolutely. It varies. Um, there are easier recipes and there are more difficult ones, as you guys know, um, as you guys seen on the channel. So, but <laughs> yeah. we're always trying to figure out really quick and easy, efficient ways to uh, express that for you guys to make these recipes in your own homes, because that's the point, right? That you guys 
guys will want to do this or feel inspired to make your own recipes, take your, do your own takes on the recipes that we make. So we truly are just here to inspire you guys to get in the kitchen or just join us in the kitchen on the channel when we are making it. Yay. Someone wants to know how to buy the book. Ooh. Ooh. How to buy the book. You can actually buy the book by going to www.feastoffiction.com. It is also available at indiebooks.com or all of your local booksellers online. Um, Jimmy actually went into a Barnes & Noble and saw it there. I did. That was so exciting. I was so happy about that. Yep. It's also at Amazon, Target, um, any local bookseller. You guys should support your local booksellers. That would be really sweet. But yeah, you can I agree. all the information on www.feastoffiction.com. And thank you guys so much for asking and supporting the book. All right, so I am turning the temperature up one last time because we're going to make some eggs up in here. Can I get eggs? Oh, I have one. All right, we're going to melt the rest of our Ooh. coconut. Well, Somebody has a really good question for me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Was I a Playboy bunny? Were you a Playboy bunny? <laughs> what? <laughs> excuse me, what? Okay, excuse me. Do you see this bunny? <laughs> no. That's no. a bunny. I'm a Playboy bunny, but I appreciate it. But I actually... Do you want to clarify to you guys? And it is actually a good question. And is, I will tell you why. Wait, what? I can understand your confusion on it. And the reason why it is a great question is because there is actually another Ashley Adams out there that is a penthouse pet. Whoa. Yes. So she is really doing our name proud. <laughs> and that is maybe who you mistaked me for. And I can see why. Do you I guys look alike? <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard you say that word before, I don't to be think honest. I have, but I was just trying to explain that clearly my body is definitely Playboy material. So, yes. that I'd... being said, I understand your confusion, and thank you so much for asking that question. In another life, I was a Playboy bunny, but no, for this life, I am my friend's partner on Beast of Fiction. <laughs> no comment. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of salt, of our remaining salt to this as well. I want my eggs to have a little bit of everything in there. Okay, so now all we have to do is just cook these eggs, and then we're almost done, Ash, and then we can chill and hang out. And Yes, because after he does that, we are going to put the fried rice into the pineapple, and then we put it in the oven for about 20 minutes to bake. And then, my friends, you are going to see the coolest thing ever, because this pineapple fried rice is a showstopper. It is a perfect thing for you to make for your families. It's a perfect way for you to impress your girlfriends or your boyfriends Ooh. if you want to get in the kitchen and make it a little dinner for date night, especially in quarantine. For that significant other? Yes. Exciting. All right. All right. Ready to cook some eggs really easily? All you have to do is make it nice and hot, drag it out a little bit, and then, you know, now that, now that we're trying to put this in fried rice, we'll give it a little stir, beat it up a little more in the pan. And check it out. You may think these eggs are not done, and you're right. They aren't done, but they're good enough for now. Then I'm going to break them up. I'm going to fly in our food. And we're just going to add it on top. Oh, yeah. You guys are really lucky to be joining us tonight in the Feast of Fiction Kitchen. <laughs> because if you guys did not know, this man right here is the master of making fried rice. Oh, thank you. It is his number one favorite food. So the fact that he has graced us in his presence tonight to make this amazing meal for y'all wow. is so amazing. Wow. All right. What, a, what an endorsement. Okay, I'm going to add in these scallions here as well as our schnoopies. And then... Give this all a good little stir around, and because we don't want this uh, egg to be everywhere, just make sure it's not all clumped together. You can beat it up a little bit with your spatula or whatever you're using to mix your rice up. Also, I really want to know in the chat, how many of you guys are actually making this along with us? That would be cool if at yes. least one, even if a one person was, yep. you're, you're the coolest. Yep, if you want to send a bowl of rice emoji <laughs> to the chat or pineapple, that will let me and Jimmy know that you guys are in the kitchen grinding it out with a... <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, is the oven preheated? Are we there? And so far, I see no. No pineapples? That's okay. Maybe no one's making it along with us. In that case, we are here to feed you, the world, our pineapple fried rice. Yes. All right, that's basically it. 
I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to give it a little bit more mix. And then we're going to put it into our sea salted uh, pineapple shells here. So this is, uh, can I get a big spoon, Ash? Yeah. Gracias. Here is your Let's can. Let's scoot this over and put this here. Oh, thank you. So feel free to just put these on the pan. No big. Big spoon. Coming right up. Coming right up. This is great. We've held like 200 people here the whole time. I am super happy to see everyone. I'm so glad they all came to hang out. The big spoon. How do we, how do we hand, how do we hand this off safely? Just give me the tip. Right. Yeah. Oh. All right, that was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. I think that was good. So I'm gonna take the rice yes. now. So what are you doing? We're spooning the rice into the pineapple shells that have been salted. This is going to give it a little more extra flavor. Also, it's just a really cool step that helps make sure you cook everything through and all the veggies are soft as can be. Ooh, Adrian, I like all your pineapples. Thank you so much. For Who's making it? Making it. Hey. With us. Thanks. You rock. <laughs> You're cool. They're cooking in their mind. They're cooking in their mind. Ooh, powerful, powerful. Someone's cooking with their mind. That is something that is actually insane if you think about it. Ooh, that top down is beautiful, Jimmy. I know, right? It's what great. What you're doing is you gorgeous see. work. I get to feel like I'm on Food Network. Like, and now we're just gonna take the rice and delicately fold it into our pineapple head yes. shells. And this is just such a wonderful aesthetic part of the recipe that makes you feel just great to be in the kitchen. And you know what? Cooking is a joy to share with everyone. So if you have a young one or a niece or a nephew, or if, you know, they have not decided their gender yet, you can do whatever you want because this is a free world and cooking is available to everyone. This is the Woo! most agnostic thing I've ever taught people how to do in my life because you don't, there's no restriction. <laughs> you just need a stove to cook and it's great. I love the inclusivity of food. And I'm all here for it. There is a question. How many does it feed? How many does this feed? Yes. Well, according to the book. Yes. We're going to say the exact four passionate taste testers. Ooh, so four passionate taste testers. That's right. Actually, ooh, our pineapple wasn't as large as the last one. So we actually have a little bit of extra that we can probably stack snack it on up. before. Yeah, I'm going to stack it up for sure. And I'm going to pack it in tight. I want to make sure that this cooks nice and tight. We need... We need our own show on Food Network. Well, hey, ye typical music covers, if you know anyone, send them to youtube.com backslash Feast of Fiction <laughs> at Food Network, and uh, let's get that arranged. Yeah, let's actually do it. All right, I'm definitely packing these up to the max here. This is going to be great. It's going to look so good when it comes out of the oven. Of course, it needs to go into the oven first, but... Hey. All right. All right, we're getting pretty close here. What do you think, Ashley? I put every single last bit into these pineapples? Yeah, I think so. Why okay, not? all right. We're stuffing it. I'll have to pack this in a little tighter now. Yeah, why not? Why not? You why know, go big not? or go home. Did you guys know we had a Patreon, too? Yo, did you? If you are on our Patreon, please let us know in the chat. Say hello. Say hello. Um, All of our patrons are by far my favorite people on the planet. We've had about, I think, 111 right now we're sitting at. Just, like, actually the coolest people ever. I talk to them every day on Discord. We share memes. We joke around. Uh, you can literally just ask me anything you want in there. You can poke me. Well, don't actually do that. This isn't this isn't 2000s era Facebook, so don't do that. We have 111 best friends. We! We have 111 best friends, yes show my face on there more often. Hey man, if you have the time, you can install the app on your phone. Discord is as easy as can be. We I also have some- I don't know how to use it. We also have some really skilled chefs in there as well, and they occasionally post their creations, and it's always great to see. Ooh, All right. Jimmy, you're doing a really good job now. I think I did a pretty Ooh, good job look at here. That. These are packed oh, up yes, nice. Oh yes, this looks amazing. Be sure you guys to save your uh, cool little stem. We definitely don't want you to throw that out. We're saving it, obviously, for a great reason. It's going to be a big part of the final reveal. Okay, so, so what next, Wim? What next? Well, we're just going to stick these babies in the oven, let them cook, uh, and then when that's done, we just take it out, present it, and boom. Okay, so ready to eat. that means we have 20 minutes. 20 minutos. To talk to you guys about whatever. Yeah, now the time for you guys to catch up with us. Let us know what you're feeling, what you want to do in chat, and uh, maybe we'll share some pictures from the cookbook as well. Here, I'll take those. Oh, the random costume! I did forget. <laughs> okay, I'll tap in for you. Okay, I'm going to go off screen and put on the costume now, and when I come back, 
You know, maybe we don't need a bacon for the full 20 because I just want to eat this. I'm so freaking hungry. I didn't have lunch today. I'm just going to put that out there. Do we have it preheated at the oven? The oven is going to be preheated to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Boom. And you're going to take it in there and put it in there for 20 minutes. All right. Easy as that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, just the way you like it here on Nice. 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 Okay, I'm going to clear out of here after I do a little bit of cleanup work because, oh my gosh, things are a mess. Yeah. Yep. And what? The best chefs, as always, clean up. Clean up as you go. In fact, if you don't clean as you go, you are, you're probably making a mistake, to be honest. Yep, clean up as you go. Right, guys? So that in the end, you don't have to clean up the mess because nobody wants to cook a big meal and then clean it up. Yeah, unless you're the person receiving the meal, in which case it is your duty to clean up for the other person. But not even everyone abides by those rules. So we live in a lawless society. I don't know who to trust anymore. Wow, look at Jimmy over here giving us some kitchen etiquette. <laughs> some manners. I gotta do what I can. Winnie John. Well, guys, we are 20 minutes away from this. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm gonna go put on the costume. Actually, uh, okay. put the reporter phone down. All right, I'll, here I'll you be go. right back. I'll put the re reporter phone here. You can report back. And hello, it's me again. Okay, that was really fun, you guys. I really enjoyed being a reporter, but also I enjoy making pineapple fried rice. So that's why we're here tonight, right? That's so right. let's go ahead and get some chats. Ooh, this fan. Remember the smoothie challenge? Oh, oh my, god. my god. Who wrote that? <gasps> uh, PK Donnie. Okay, PK Donnie is, okay, let me just talk to you guys about the smoothie challenge. If you guys want to watch the best episode of Feast of Fiction <laughs> where we cook absolutely nothing, oh you need to go look up the smoothie challenge after this live stream. It is my favorite piece of fiction episode of all time. And I'm sorry that we will not be cooking in it, so please do not go there and comment, like, where's the food? We're not cooking food, that one. But it's really funny because Jimmy and me have a contest where we are basically making our own smoothies based on numbers we draw. And basically, I made the best smoothie of all time. Out of like 10 ingredients, I got nine of the best ones. There was one weird ingredient, and it, it was all my random... It was like not rigged at all. Jimmy is like losing his mind the whole time. It is amazing. To this day, some of my best friends still show their family members that video because it's just so crazy and wild. So you guys need to check it out. PK Donnie, thank you for bringing that up. It what happened about it? four years ago. What was your bad ingredient? You had one bad ingredient. It wasn't even that bad, right? What was what it? What was it? Oh, Ooh, gosh. shoot. I just remember you guys built the perfect smoothie. I was so upset. Oh, man. Like, what was my bad ingredient? There? Oh, man. You remember Al? No. JP would remember. JP would remember. Oh, man. I can't remember. How can I not remember my bad ingredient? I live and die by that episode. <laughs> we got another $5. Oh, Yay! my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. A yes to the carpenter or less than a. Looks amazing. Could you one day make Tiana's beignets from Princess and the Frog? Well, we lucky to. for you. Let me just show you something. Guys. We have actually made them on the channel before, and they are actually D E E E Lish. But lucky for you, if you own the Feast of Fiction cookbook, you get beignets. Oh, wait, we didn't do them in the cookbook. No, we did the gumbo. We did the gumbo. That's right. Sorry to mislead you guys. We did Tiana's gumbo. Well, you should show the, the picture of the gumbo. The gumbo is yeah. great. The gumbo is great. But we've done channel. beignets on the channel, and they yes. are really good. Really, really good. I really love that gumbo, by the way. It's a great recipe, and the picture, too, is to die I know, for. it's really pretty. I love just full shrimp in pictures. Ooh. There's something magical about that. Ooh, ooh, and ooh. Well. Ooh, Tiana's gumbo. Ooh, Bingo, nice. baby. It's so good. Look at that amazing photo, too. Princess and the Frog, too. What a great, what a great movie. What a great movie. Such a cute Disney flick. Oh, Sam, can you change to the top-down angle? Oh, right. Show it from the top-down. Ooh. Well, let's get another one. We'll get a new book. Not the OC. Look at the Feast of Fiction kitchen. It's amazing. It's beautiful. They turn it upside down because they're viewing it from the other side. Ooh. There it is. Oh, hallelujah. I forgot what the name of your character is again. Soma? Soma? Soma, that's right. That's you? 
You guys will catch a, a wisp of oh. my, my, my cape here from far away. Ooh. You can't see it, but it's me far away from Ashley. Thanks. Nice and safe. Oh, right. Soma is on reporter duty. That's right. That's right. Oh, where's my spoon? Oh, it? that's right. Okay, let's go ahead and ask some more questions because we have in live, about this is 15 Soma more minutes. on the scene. <laughs> We've been making food all day here at the Feast of Fiction Kitchen. What's up, chat? Let's hear what y'all gotta say. Soma on the scene. Oh, that sounds like a book. Soma on the scene. I mean, scene. a definitely show. Someone asked if we were gonna do recipes from the Pokemon Cafe. That'd be cool. Whoa, Carmelamon, $20. Carmelamon. Thanks so much for that donation. That's wonderful. I received my cookbook the other day, and I'm so happy to be able to cook along today. Can't wait to try more recipes and Damaris, Damaris. Damaris, thank you so much. <gasps> you should make a cookbook with just Food Wars recipes. We That's, probably could, right? You, There's oh, you, so many recipes that you are amazing. Off one season of that show. There's so many amazing recipes in there. So that's pretty interesting. Yes, Roberto, if you're a part of the Discord, you are also a patron. Yes, thank you so uh, much. <laughs> Ashley's weird ingredient. Thank you, Abe Tuna. What Lion. was it? The was lime juice. Oh, lime Which juice! Which isn't even that bad in a smoothie. Oh, like, it was lime juice! It wasn't even that bad! You know what? I'm gonna start writing that off as just some added vitamin C to that perfect smoothie. That's unbelievable. I can't believe that happened. Oh my god, that uh, is unbelievable. That episode was just the best. Yeah, I'm not good. really, I'm not even talking that up because I'm like so desperate for you guys to watch it. It literally is so funny and you will be dying laughing for hours. Because I suffer in it. I yes. For a great deal. And he just loses his mind. Like, he doesn't even know what is happening. I do. Oh, another $5 donation from Less Than uh, Hello, Aww. thank you again. Thanks for telling. I made the Pokemon curry with my mom, and we had so much fun. Oh, thank you so much for the amazing recipes and working so hard on the book. Actually, oh, my that gosh. Is, that's so sweet. Thank that you, Less Than That is so Lesson incredibly that. sweet. Thank you so much. That is amazing. Well, you guys are awesome in chat, by the way. I want to stream more to YouTube because you guys are so freaking wholesome. Is there anything that you guys want to see in the future? Maybe we'll do another fun cook it along. Maybe we'll even play some Cooking Mama video type games. That makes me sound like a boomer. Ooh. Who wants to play these video type games? You boomer, <laughs> for real. That's something I, sh I, say, I should say. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't play video games, so that's definitely something you might hear me say, but no, Jimmy, you're the boomer on the channel. I clearly am. Get this boomer out of here! Sleepless Amaturo has been here for one year today. Oh, wow. Happy anniversary. Ooh, Jojo has invaded the chat. Jojo of uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. We made food from that as well. What did we make from that? We made the black spaghetti. Oh, that's right. That black spaghetti. Nice. That is right. Well, thank you all so much for being such wonderfully nice people. We love you all. I can't wait to enjoy this fried rice with you. It's so sweet. We need our oval bowl. Do we have our oval? Bowl? I think we do have an oval bowl. Can we go find it? Yes. Can someone find the oval bowl? Can we get the oval bowl flowing in on the set, please? Reporting in live once again from Beast of Fiction. It's Soma. Soma. This is taking long. This is take yeah, it is taking a little bit long. Look at this um, wig. Who has hair like this? It's amazing on you. Thanks. I Looks awesome. I did. This is what I live for. Reporting live. I think all of you should. Feel good about cooking in the kitchen, because I, if I can do it, you can too, and I'm not even a real person or character. Wow, this hair is kind of out of control right now. Let's do a little bit of operation here on this headband. Aw, oh, Sam, thank you uh, for that five bucks. Oh, it's so Sam sweet. The rice reminds me of the pineapple fried rice shrimp from our Float Dream short film. Ooh. Uh, except with four of Max made a short film. Congratulations. Thank you for sharing. I do love a good pineapple. Pineapple, okay, fruit, rate your fruits, root your fruit, top to bottom, Ashley, what's your favorite fruit? Yuzu. That, is that a fruit? Yeah. I love it. Oh, it's a citrus. It's a Japanese citrus, it in case is. you all don't it must know. Be, must be, uh, of course, Soma would have known. I love citrus, but Yuzu so, is, oh, no. wow, oh Sarah. Oh my gosh, Sarah, we're picking up. Thank you so much. Sarah Moran and I were just going in $100. That's so what the sweet. Heck? She basically just bought four books. You did buy four books. That's so sweet. You know Thank what? You, in your Sarah. honor, Sarah, we are going to, on our Instagram, we'll do a giveaway for two books so we can split your donut. It's like a half-half split. So look forward to that. Thank you yep. so much, Sarah. Everyone Aww. in chat, please send Sarah a thank you. She just bought two books for two random Instagram winners. Oh, so that, sweet. Go Thanks, to Instagram.com slash piece of fiction. Find it there. Okay, so PK Donnie listed my smoothie. 
It was banana. Well, actually, unless you're reading his comment, you need to go watch it to see what it is. Yeah, but, you know, all of those ingredients look like they belong in the smoothie, Ashley. Oh, yeah, except lime uh -huh. juice. But... Hey, Raylan. Thank you so much, Rachel Morgan, for the five dollars. Oh, thank you, guys. That's so generous of y'all. Y'all yeah, are so sweet. We did do this stream for donuts. But thank you so much for, for donuts. I mean, that's, like, really sweet of you all. I, I really love that. That's, that's honestly so, so nice of you guys. That is so sweet. Thank you guys so much. And even just y'all being here is, like, donation enough. Yeah. Oh, Randma Girl says that she has a copy of the book with both of our autographs. Yay, so you bought it on our early live stream, and you're trying to figure out what to make next. And yes, please post it to Instagram if you do. We would love to see your creations. That's what makes this possible. Yes, it is. So thank you guys again always so much for all your support here. Uh, I d How many more minutes do we have on our rice? We can just call it done. <laughs> Let's call it done. Who wants to see some fried rice? Hands up in the Ooh chat. Wee. If you don't want to see fried rice, just don't chat at all, honestly. Well, well, well. I guess it's that time. What's that? What? Sorry, I got lost in my thoughts there. What's that? I guess it's that time, my friends. It is that time. We are taking it off the oven. Yep. We are affixing it to have some delicious pineapple fried rice. Okay, let's switch that top down or the, the, the double. We have a double camera. All right. There it is. All right. All right. Put it over there. Yes, we are having our kitchen assistant putting it on the All tablet. Right. Can I get to. Spoon, please. Can yeah, so we will bring you a spoon in post taste. Okay. Okay, so we have a couple bowls here. If you would like a round pineapple, you could use a round bowl or a oval bowl, which is what we will be using to emulate more of the pineapple shape. But feel free to use any pineapple, I mean any shape that you want to make your pineapple. I personally think a round pineapple would be kind of cute and kind of kawaii, but um, today we are going to be using this adorable uh, round, uh, I mean, oval dish. And. All right. Perfect. Thank you. So that All right, I appreciate but that. I wash my hands to say nice and safe. Great. Thank you, Jimmy. Um, All right. So. Um, Bingo, baby. Bingo, bingo, bongo. All right, this is the most exciting part of this recipe, everyone. I'm pretty stoked about this. All right, so what you're going to do, ooh, I can tell that this fried rice is made to perfection, y'all. Oh, thanks. Mmm, this smells delicious. And, you know, uh, it being baked in a pineapple is just a really cool way to get more pineapple homage to the taste of the fried rice. Indeed. Oh, did we miss another donation, Alfred? Um, let's see here. That top left one. That looks like a yoga person. To, yeah. Oh, we did. It was Ramagirl Girl with five bucks. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. that's thank so you. sweet. Okay. Epic so. Karen is eating fried rice right now. Lucky person. PK Dunny, Jimmy Smoothie, let's just keep it a surprise. Thank you, PK. I appreciate you not uh, uh, in the lead, spoiling what's in my smoothie. Just yeah. know that Ashley's smoothie is great, and mine is unacceptable. Womp, womp. I made a lot of bad choices in a row, and it was very disturbing. Our poor boy Jimmy just doesn't have good luck. Rena Nice says, with $5, by the way, thank you. You should look at the recipes from Kitchen Princess, okay? Ooh, we'll definitely check those out. I'm writing that down right now. Cheyenne also agrees, Kitchen Princess, yes, please. Never heard of it. But you know what? If we have some excitement in the chat, that's all that matters. So I'm packing this down pretty good. Nice. Packing it in. And awesome. you use all of the rice as well. It's perfect. Yep, per so... Um, perf. Perf. All so, right. All right, you want to can we get the top down out? Yeah, let's get the top down out. Coming in hot. Oh, I'm going to use some more of that rice, though. Okay, in a second. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to... So, wait, wait, wait. Maybe actually, we we're doing the... Yeah, yeah, there we go. We're doing it the smart way, not the Jimmy Wong way. <laughs> we're putting it on top, and then we're going to take the whole shebang and then flip it over at the same time. Look at that. Now there's not going to be a single mistake when it actually removes. dun 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 Whoa! Dun, dun, dun. It's beautiful. That is beautiful. Wow. And you can round it out if you want to, but we're just going to leave it like this because it looks so gorgeous. And then you put your little 
Yay! And there you go, Look my friends. That's wonderful, beautiful. All right, let's switch to the uh, the base game here. Ooh, so we get close up in there. Actually, I need to back off as I get close. Okay, sorry. Wait, wait. Hold on. Wow, Lenny. Technical difficulties. All right, switch back. Switch back to the top down. Ooh, beautiful. Beautimus. There it is. All right. All right. There we go. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna Beautiful. take something over here. Okie dokie. That oh, looks nice. What a recipe! It's so amazing. Right. I'm gonna get a little bit of everything. All right, that's you too. Okay, I'm actually gonna eat my own pineapple. Oh, that's a good idea. Because this is a good vessel too. If you don't want to take it one step further. That's a good point. Thoughts? Mmm. 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 Nice. I'm gonna inspect my own work here. Oh my gosh, so good. Mm, mm, mm. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Huh? Wow. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> that was amazing. I want more. I'm gonna sneak it in yeah. Here. I was going to say, I feel sorry for you. You don't have I your own. I just love the look of this. Look at this. This is a freaking pineapple. Mm. Who lives in a pineapple on the on the plate? Thank Soma, you, Damaris. Soma Square fans. I didn't get to see what Damaris said. <laughs> Damaris asked if you've made the gray stuff from Yuri the Beast, oh. the port cut to gun from Yuri on Ice, or the Reptar Bar from Rugrats. We've made okay. two all of them but one. Yeah. So Reptar Bar is probably my most favorite Beast of Fiction episode besides Smoothie Challenge. Because <laughs> it was so fun. And it was like me really living my childhood fantasies. Whoa! I Rugrats. Hold up. Sarah. Real talk. Again? We have ourselves a guaranteed food expert in chat. Sarah has once again donated a hundred dollars. That's you know what? Let's give away some more cookbooks. If you follow us at Instagram.com slash piece of fiction, we'll do something yep. in this next week to give away some more cookbooks. Wow, Sarah's so making it know. rain up in here. <laughs> let's uh let's please give it up in chat for Sarah. Thank you again, Sarah. That's really awesome of you. Sarah. And because of your donation, we will be giving away more books to people. That is beyond generous, my friend. Thank yes. you so much. All right. I want to keep eating this, though. I'm so sorry. Sarah, this bite's for you. All right? This one's for you. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. If we have not convinced you yet to buy the Feast of Fiction Kitchen, I hope that this live stream has uh, enticed you guys and tempted your palates because this is amazing. We actually have a video of this coming out very soon where we took this exact recipe, turned it into a video so you guys can see what we're doing in the kitchen from the cookbook. And um, if not, if we haven't convinced you to make this or buy the book, then um, I don't know. I don't know what, what are we doing? What are we doing? Hey, Chef PK and Chad as well. He is a big Food Wars fan. They, you know, if people want to see more Food Wars recipes in the future, we can make that happen. But Thank you everyone so much for hanging out and participating and being a part of this stream. I cannot thank Sarah, Raylan, everyone else that donated. Mm -hmm. That is so wonderful to everyone. Um, thank you everyone. I, I love you all. We'll give one more yes. shout out to Chat, Correggi, Corday, Crafty, mm -hmm. Adrian, Tony, Sergeant Sweetie, Viper, Sarah, PK Donnie, mm -hmm. everyone else that donated. We missed your name, but we love you so much. Um, had you just missed the stream, don't worry, you can rewatch it and watch along with us. But thank you all again so much for hanging out. Um, we really appreciate it. We hope you're staying safe and sound during these very tough times for everyone around the world. We hope that some of our food can bring you a little bit of joy and a reason to get back into the kitchen. So please head to www.feastoffiction.com if you want to purchase a copy of the cookbook. Yep, right and I'm just going to be back here eating my fried rice. And that's right, reporting from the kitchen live, it's Soma Yukihira, and we're going to tune out now and say goodbye to everyone. Thank you again, everyone, for donating and chat and hanging out. Please head to feastoffiction.com, buy a cookbook, even as a gift, you're going to make someone very happy. And guaranteed you're going to know at least five recipes in there that you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I don't know how to make it. I don't know how to make it. So, hope to see you guys very soon. Thank you all again, and of course, as always, nine years on the channel, 